it's very exciting to be back, especially after the news we're not coming back, <laughs> and our our fans brought us back. So that was that was that was pretty awesome. So now we're we're in the middle of it. Oh my God, we're we're shooting uh, exactly episode five today out of ten. So uh, I don't know how much I can tell you about what's happening with Flynn, but we uh, we find him in the prison in the beginning of the season. And then uh, there's uh, development um, after that. Uh, needless to say, he's going to find a way to get out of there, probably, hopefully. <laughs> and then, um, and then it, it gets really interesting. Yeah, so uh, the beginning of this season, you know, we, we find uh, interesting development because uh, we think on the end of the season one that Rittenhouse is pretty much over, uh, Flynn ends up in prison. Uh, what we feel about that, it's kind of like, you know, some people like it, some people don't. You know, Flynn definitely feels he's been cheated on, and uh, so his uh, main objective is to get out of there and continue with his work. Now, uh, they are going to, our time team and Flynn are going to be kind of aligning uh, almost on the same trajectory. And uh, maybe they're going to even start working together. We'll see. You know, Flynn's going to still continue working his way. You know, like uh, he, he doesn't know how to not use carpet bombing. You know, he's kind of like uh, not very gentle. And, but objective is still the same. So uh, that's going to be very interesting. And then uh, with Rittenhouse, uh, many surprises are waiting for us. We think that we, uh, we cut them off, but uh, we maybe even just provoked them and made them even more dangerous. You know? So uh, it's interesting, interesting stuff coming up in season two. Well, interesting thing about Flynn in this season is that uh, we see more of his uh, uh, dilemmas kind of come through. And uh, he starts, in season one, we see him a lot talking about this journal, but he doesn't believe 100% what's in there because, you know, he's an intelligent guy enough that he knows that history is changing. We're able to change it, and God knows is the journal really correct or not. And now he sees more and more of that that actually is coming to uh, that that that's that's truth, and uh, he kind of becomes almost a little bit calmer in a way, and he kind of starts working, thinking about working more with them to to get to the same point, to the same thing that they want to do. So it, it is going to be a little bit different for him, you know. Uh, are you going to call him, you know, more of a good guy or not, you know? But uh, I always consider him a good guy. <laughs> Well, the beauty of it, I love, I love in our concept, one of my favorite things about our concept is that we are the people who are in the past, who travel, they're the only ones who are keeping these memories of the original timeline. I mean, it's not even fair to call it original because it's changed, it doesn't exist anymore, except to these couple of people, they went back to the past. So original, not original, it's kind of confused uh, concept. But the fact is that we are the one that audience can basically be on the same level with us because audience is living our history. So every time we changed it, uh, we actually tell our history is the same history of our audience. And then audience with us is experiencing the change that happened. So that's my, one of my favorite things about this show. I've, uh, since I was a kid, I've been, I've been a huge history buff. Uh, I love science fiction. When, when I was a kid, uh, I started, when I was able to read, uh, started reading first fairy tales, you know, and then I gradually kind of went into like old Greek mythology and Roman and Nordic and all that stuff, and then slowly get into science fiction and all of that. And history was always uh, kind of important and uh, interesting. And I've read a lot of those what if books, you know, it's like, you know, favorite subject is Nazi Germany. What would happen if you know, something changed, some small thing during the Second World War, you know, in which, which world we would live today. And there's a lot of these thought experiments that we're kind of like playing with in the show, and that's one of my favorite things. And the uh, beauty of it is that we have the, the historian on a show. I mean, I don't mean Lucy. I mean the real historian in a writing room, that they always come up with these small, tiny 
pieces of history that you cannot learn in, in, in history books or in, uh, in a classroom because it would just be too big. And there are these tiny little details that, that, that you just didn't know and then you go and check it and it's correct. It's something that actually did happen. And in every episode, we have something like that. And every time I read the new episode, I'm like, okay, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna find out something I didn't know before. And it's really cool. I think I think people like that stuff.